Hi there, and welcome to Artly Wind. As a Frenchman and a good Cabernet lover, we have to talk about Bordeaux and its red wines. Bordeaux is one of the largest fine wine producing region in the world, with more than 10,000 different wines. Bordeaux influenced all wine producing countries, including Italy in the old world or in the new world, South Africa, Australia, Chile, and even California. Personally, uh, Bordeaux is where I got my Epiphany wine, a Cabernet Forward blend from Saint Estephe in the Medoc on the left bank. That leads me to talk about the fact that Bordeaux is divided into two subregions the so called left bank and right bank. The left bank is famous for the Medoc and Grave wine, whereas the right bank is famous for the Saint-Emilion and Pomerol wines. Each region is kind of divided also by the type of varietal they're producing there. So 90% of the wine produced in Bordeaux is red wine, primarily Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon thrive on the so-called left bank in the Medoc and Grave, and Merlot thrive in the right bank in Saint-Emilion and Pomerol. About 60% of all the vineyards are dedicated to Melo, whereas only 20% are dedicated to Cabernet Sauvignon. The left bank and right bank concepts are geographical, they're not legal though. Therefore, if you go to a wine store, you really need to know uh, the sub-regions like Medoc, Grave, Saint-Emilion, Pomerol, or even the smaller villages to know if you're buying a Cabernet Forward or, an, or a Merlot Forward wine. Usually you can find a good bottle of Bordeaux for 15 or, you, or more $25. And for the best Bordeaux, unfortunately you will have to spend more than $40 and up to several thousand dollars. I had the chance to do a wine tasting trip in Bordeaux in December, 2018, just before Christmas. We did both banks. We went to Saint-Emilion and we also went in some of the Medoc villages in Saint-Estephe, Saint-Julien and Pauillac. As I mentioned in Saint-Estephe, that's where I got my Epiphany wine in Chateau Casse d'Estournel in the top 20 wineries of the Medoc region. In Saint-Emilion, uh, the village was really cute, a very typical small French village. And the wines were good, but as my palate evolved, these days I'm more leaning towards Cabernet Forward, and therefore my testing experience was great and better in, in the Medoc. Chateau Casse des Tournelles uh, was a really interesting tasting experience. Uh, first of all, the chateau is inspired by Asian travel, and so it's pretty unusual to have like Asian style towers uh, in a French chateau. Second of all, uh, we had a great wine tasting experience just after visiting the winery and their wine library. The wine library, they had really old wines as they were able to save some of their wines prior to World War II. During World War II, a lot of wines from wineries have been raided by the Nazis, but some wineries were able either to hide the entrance of the cellar or to hide bottles in the fields. As usual, uh, your wine tasting experience will also depend on your mood of the day, the people you're with, and how passionate or how good the host is. In our case, we had a great host and very delicious wines. Generally speaking, your wine at a winery will always taste great because it has been matured and stored in the right conditions and you have no chance of any flaws from transportation or storage. I don't know why that day uh, my wine tasting experience was so great, maybe just because the wines were great, but I was able to get a very long finish and waves of aroma. It was, it was keep, keep going and, and going. And so it felt like I had a finish for minutes with some black fruit notes followed by some uh, very soft tannin notes followed by some 
cedar or, or wood, woodsy wood notes and paper notes. And, and that's why I call it my epiphany wine, because I will really be able to enjoy the wines uh, in, in waves, whereas for, for many wines, you just uh, taste it, and after half a second or one or two seconds, it's gone, and, and you need to, to sip it again. Chateau Cas de Sournel, between in the top 20 of the Medoc wineries, their wines are quite expensive, but you can easily find in the U.S. their second label, Les Pacotes de Cas for about 65 to $80, depending on the vintage. As uh, Saint-Estèphe is located uh, really far north in the Medoc region, uh, the, the wines are firm, tannic, and slow to mature. And so it, we decided also to go to a nearby village, the, the village of Saint-Julien, which is south of Saint-Estèphe, where the wines are more easily approachable. We visited Chateau Talbot there, and we had a great experience as well. In Chateau Talbot, uh, there are not there, there is not really a chateau itself. Uh, it's it's a it's a it's a smaller house, and and the winery is is, is really modern in a warehouse. But they had a really cool barrel room with cement pillars and, and mirrors, and and it really uh, looked fantastic. As far as their wine goes, uh, we also had a, a great wine tasting, and yes, the, the wine were way more approachable, were maybe more fruitful, and uh, you can find uh, Chateau Talbot in the U.S. as well. A few years ago, I don't really know why, you were able to find Chateau Talbot at Trader Joe's uh, for a very reasonable price, but in the last years, now for the first label, you will need to pay about $85 for a good Chateau Talbot vintage. I should mention that uh, if you have $50 to $65 to spend on a really good bottle of red and a good bottle of Merlot and Cabernet, which is usually are uh, more expensive than other grape variety, uh, you should always look after the second label of great Bordeaux Chateaus because usually uh, you get great wines for a reasonable price. Uh, that's it for my uh, wine tasting experience in Bordeaux. I hope you enjoyed this video. As usual, you can uh, let me know uh, how you like the videos. You can subscribe to this channel. And of course, in the comments, uh, I invite you to tell me what is your favorite wine, what is your favorite winery, or what is your favorite wine regions. If you want to learn more about wines, if you're interested in classes or wine tasting experiences, or even in building a wine collection, you can uh, check my Facebook page, Audley Wine. As usual, enjoy your wines, but drink responsibly. Cheers. Cheers.